In the early days of Taiwan's forestry, officials used forest resources to help create an economic miracle. When forestry shifted its focus to conservation, these officials embraced all creatures of the forest and became the guardians of this rich and diverse environment. The phenomenon of global warming has created a crisis for the conservation of nature. Over half of Taiwan is covered by forests. Forestry Bureau staff are the guardians of this green island and are committed to ensuring that it always remains green. Taiwan is located on the southeastern edge of the Eurasian Continental Plate. It has an area of 36,000 square kilometers. The forces that pushed it out of the ocean raised up over 250 peaks that exceed 3,000 meters in height. The forces that have molded this island over the millennia have given it many distinctive features. In the course of its geological development, Taiwan has experienced four ice ages, the retreat of the ice left behind species such as the Formosan salamander, which have survived through tens of thousands of years and continue to inhabit Taiwan's forests, enhancing its biodiversity by their presence. Because Taiwan is a mountainous island cut off from the continent, many species that live here are endemic to the island. Although located in the subtropics, its high mountains mean that it has tropical, subtropical, temperate, and frigid climatic conditions. In addition, Taiwan's high humidity means that although small in size, tropical to frigid zone vegetation can be found here. Forests are the lifeblood of Taiwan, and the quality of forestry management determines the success or failure of the industry. The Forestry Bureau, which is responsible for the sustainability of Taiwan's forests, has always been the forest's best friend and partner. In 1999, Taiwan Forestry Bureau was reorganized under the central government with eight forest district offices and an aerial survey office under its management. Its mission in the new era was protecting forests, administering national forests, conserving habitat and biodiversity, managing ecosystems, and creating an integrated natural resource and ecosystem database. In the natural world, the chances that a seed will grow into a forest are very slim. Only by selecting good quality seeds can a healthy forest be nurtured. Every autumn, foresters climb to the top of the trees to collect autumn fruit among the tender leaves. With these, they can sustain the forest and even ensure the survival of endangered species. By preserving seeds, the process of extinction can be reversed. The focus of the Bureau's policy of afforestation is on foresting hillsides and extending forested areas along the coast and in the plains. Creating a green corridor along the west coast is also a priority for improving quality of life in Taiwan. In pursuing this policy, the Bureau actively engages in afforestation creating greener and more appealing rural spaces for outdoor recreation, vitalizing Taiwan's green resources through tourism development in rural plains areas. At the same time, it also plants the seeds of future forests. During the Japanese occupation, the diversity and uniqueness of Taiwan's many species caught the interest of researchers who followed one another into the pristine wilderness. From this time on, the hidden beauty of Formosa was gradually revealed, becoming known by people from around the world. 
Starting in 1974, the Bureau began to designate conservation areas, including permanent sample plots, to carry out inventory of rare and valuable species. The Bureau's conservation efforts covered a wide area. From coast regions to mountain peaks, its presence can be seen around the island. It extends the same kind of care to indigenous and migratory species based on their rarity. Apart from educating the public, rangers and policemen work together to stop poaching of shrike or gray-faced buzzard when they pass through Kanding. We hope that these friends from afar can enjoy our hospitality and continue their annual visits. The Bureau also commissioned academic and research bodies to conduct field surveys so that even long-distance travelers who only sojourn in Taiwan are carefully monitored by the Bureau. Currently, 45,000 species have been recorded in Taiwan, and to ensure that this island continues to be enriched by this diversity of wildlife, the Bureau takes an active part in international conservation efforts. To prevent flooding, erosion, and mudslides, the Bureau's eco-engineering incorporates flood prevention techniques to meet both conservation and management goals. Coordinating with tourism requirements, it protects streams and their inhabitants in a multi-purpose flood prevention policy. To maximize public benefits from land and water resource management, the Forestry Act mandates different types of protected forest, which are managed in different ways. As the trees in these areas bury their roots deeply in Taiwan's soil, they will help preserve Taiwan's natural environment. Forestry roads were the arteries of the logging industry. Since the 1980s, with logging severely restricted, many of these roads were converted into scenic paths, bringing visitors closer to nature. Protecting precious forest resources is everybody's responsibility. The Forestry Bureau assigns rangers to patrol the forests and has checkpoints at the entrance to forest roads to enhance national forest management. In July 2004, the Forest and Nature Conservation Police Brigade was established in cooperation with the National Police Administration. They will work together with rangers to prevent illegal cultivation logging and other violations of forestry laws. Dry autumn and winter weather and dry leaves on the forest floor greatly increase the risk of forest fires. When the danger level moves from green to yellow or up to red, a group of people are anxiously awaiting for orders to deploy. These are the forest firefighters, the forest's first line of defense. In 2002, the Bureau installed the U.S. ICS Emergency Command System to enhance its handling of emergency situations. It also upgraded firefighting and communication equipment. This was not only to better protect the forest, it also allows firefighters to operate in greater safety. As long as the yellow coats of these firemen can be seen, Taiwan's verdant forests will always remain green.
forests are never quiet. Listen carefully and you will hear the bustle of forest life. Volunteers help the Bureau promote ecotourism and nature education. A single trip to the forest can give students the chance to understand the environment in which we live. By learning about nature, they also learn to respect life. The Bureau's first nature education center was established on Mount Dongyan. Others followed. Environmental education has become more diverse, taking place in a hands-on outdoor classroom. many places of unspoiled nature distributed across many forest recreation areas. Their beauty changes with the seasons. From the tropical Kanding to the misty cloud forests of Mount Taiping and the much anticipated snows of Mount Hehuan, the rich colors of the forest change with the seasons, each with its own appeal. In recent years, the Bureau has promoted a national system of trails. These combine scenic, historical and cultural sites. There are many trails suitable for the whole family. Based on individual fitness, people can choose trails of different distances or ranging across different altitudes. They can walk, they can observe and they can experience. In establishing this network, the principle of leave no trace provides a new philosophy for forest tourism. Through environmental ethics and outdoor education, we reduce to a minimum our impact on the forest as we pass through. We can get close to nature, but we should do so in the right way. high over Taiwan like a crested serpent eagle. The aircraft of the Aerial Survey Office have taken to the air many times over the years. The aim of every trip is to record every inch of Taiwan's terrain for the making of maps, for land management, and as a reference in surveys of natural resources. Several types of aerial photography are used to monitor natural disasters such as forest fires and insect infestations. These results are also used for academic research or private sector land surveys. The photographs taken by the Aerial Survey Office are an invaluable record of the changing face of Taiwan. These photos and the mapping of aerial routes provides enormous convenience for the people of Taiwan. Looking down from above, they are the most detailed readings of Taiwan's topography. Each aerial reading of Taiwan gives us a better understanding of this country. Community forestry is a new trend in forest management. It emphasizes public participation in resource management, biodiversity, and sustainable tourism, so the public can share in the responsibility and the profits of well-administered forest lands. Under the Bureau's Community Forestry Project, the Newly community, with its rich forest and wetland environments, was established as an example of sustainable forest management. It has become a model for others to follow. The Hubun community in Yunlin County successfully preserved the habitat of the fairy pitta, considerably raising Taiwan's international conservation profile. 
community forestry is a first step in recreating a pristine environment. And many communities with unique qualities have added their effort to this project. The cycle of the seasons works its magic of change and abundance. This primitive and captivating transformation is the ever-changing scene of nature and the setting against which Bureau staff work every day. The misty calm of the mountains, their blue and serried ranks fading out into the distance. The rich colors of the sunset dye red the black-faced spoonbill that winters in Taiwan. The seasons pass. The spoonbill leaves and returns, bringing new family members to enjoy the hospitality Taiwan has to offer. The sun rises over eastern Taiwan, lighting up the central mountain range. Yushan, Taiwan's highest peak, is steeped in its shifting colors. Infinite beauty and infinite hope are the companions of Taiwan's forestry, always there to welcome the new day. Working on the front line to protect Taiwan's forests, we hold in eternal trust the responsibility to give this task our utmost dedication.